Shellfish reef ecosystems used to be a very common feature along the east and south coasts of Australia. But unfortunately, they've been lost over the last 100 years due to a combination of overharvest, disease, and catchment modification. We're bringing back some lost ecosystem types that were very prevalent in these watersheds. It's been a long time since the uh, flat oyster reefs have been healthy and viable here. Botany Bay is such an iconic location for so many reasons. You know, such a, a rich history with Australia, uh, but it also is a unique location where we know there was a tremendous bounty of shellfish reefs and shellfish in general. We're trying to bring these ecosystems back because they provide an incredible level of productivity, biodiversity to the marine environment, allowing fish production at a rate up to 600 times higher than what you have in bare sediment areas alone. So by restoring shellfish reefs, we're also bringing back recreationally important fish, as well as helping to improve water quality through the filter feeding action of the oysters themselves. My name is Bob Hill. I've, uh, I'm the last oyster farmer in Botany Bay. I'm all for, all for uh, seeing advancement. That's what it's about. I want to see this industry grow back in the Georgia River again, especially with Angazis because we actually grow good Angazis here. I think it'll be a fantastic thing for the fishing, the fishing bit because uh, it'll be a real food source. And a reef in the middle of the bay will be a terrific, a terrific thing. Like you'll be able to be able to catch fish there. I reckon. I reckon it'll be mad, mad with snapper. As we produce our colts, we take recycled oyster shell and settle baby native flat oysters onto those. We need a place to actually house that material before the reef bases are built. That material will be used to kickstart the population of native flat oysters on the reefs. But in the interim, they need a place to live. And Robert Hill was kind enough to allow us to use his leases. We have, we have a lot of urbanised environment around here and um, urbanised catchments where there's you know, stormwater coming down that needs cleaning. And, and these oysters are filter feeders and they filter around 50 to 100 litres a day each oyster. So once we get this whole reef established, the actual water quality benefits which will come from this are going to be phenomenal. The contractors that build these reefs actually are generally marine contractors. They're large construction projects on site with large construction equipment, moving 3,800 tons of rock out to build these bases. And that's a significant cost. And that money comes back into the local economy because they're obviously a locally based contractor. Our whole career is based on the marine industry and if the ecosystem falls apart, so do our jobs. Um, so to be able to actually give back, it's the best, you know, it's the best thing about the job to say that we built that and it's improving the water quality. It's very nice to have done a project right in the middle of a very large city, uh, an iconic location for Australia, and a place that people can identify with. I don't, I don't see uh, we're here to actually take, 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 take. We're here to actually put something back and uh, I'm happy to do it, happy to be part of it.